So we want to head to the east. I'm pushing the wrong button. <laughs> we want to head to the east. Where there's another optional place. It's kind of interesting how... Like, so early in the game, there's, like, all this optional stuff you can do. You know? What do we got here? Loper 1. Bam! It'll last long. Rutabaga 1. Nice. Bump gold 45. It's good stuff. Head to these. That's nothing, really. Do you want to go this way? I'm not sure. Yeah, Forest Grove. This is where we want to go. Because it's optional and stuff. Ooh. It's another place where, you know, you, you can pick up a few items, get a little extra, you know, backstory on the plot and characters and such. It's one of those places. I actually like when they do things like that. What do we got here? Ho. Another selling item, not a big deal. How's it going? It's Cecil Jr. You ever kid anything? Uh, why do you ask? You have weapons! Okay. Well, you have to these days to survive, you know. Relax, Squirt, we're just travelers. Travelers, huh? Shucks. Clearly this is a this is a hick town. I killed me a snake the other day I did. <laughs> you gotta love this kid. My pa's gonna make me boots out of the hide and a necklace out of the fangs. Cute. Jedro says gadgeteer stuff is hosed. Okay. He says it's all evil and stuff. Jedro is misinformed. Still, he may be onto something. Alright, enough. It was nice meeting you, young man. Yep. So if you remember reading the guidebook back in the Mountain Pass, they mentioned how this place kind of drew a lot of travelers in. So... So, yeah. Can we talk to you again? Apparently not. Apparently we're not allowed to. There we go. Someday I'll be as big as you and way cooler. Alrighty then. So they don't really seem to be affected by the plague or anything. So that's kind of nice. What are you up to, ma'am? Hattie? Gracious, it's that wooden farmer from Barley Grove. Wooden farmer. Only a family as snooty as the Malmets would have money to throw away on a contraption like that. Okay. Made it all grow in rope fiber. Go figure. Farmer Malmet has perished. His fields lie raised. There has been death. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Haven't you been seeing a lot of upset people fleeing through here? Well, now that you mention it, there has been a few strangers about recently. Had to chase them off with an axe, I did. I thought they was here to rob us, I did. Of course, ever since Arlene turned 16, it's been more traffic through these parts. Still, something strange is happening lately. Oh, and... Go on. Well, there was that guy who walked into the farm here this morning and fell down deader than a doornail. Looked like he lit himself on fire. Kept mumbling something about magic. Maybe he was a circus man or something. Never up to any good that sort. Jedro had to take him off and bury him somewhere. Just what's going on, kids? Our homes. They were all attacked. Barley Grove, Enclon, even Port Lockane. We're hoping to get aid from the militia. Gracious me, all of them towns attacked. Y you better tell my husband about this. At once. Okay then. 
All right, ma'am. Hmm. Anything else to say? Be sure to speak to my husband before you leave. We'll see if we can find him. Bum, bum, bum. Looks like we got a hut here. Let's see what's going on in here. Interesting camera angle we got. You kind of got to find your way through here because of the way the camera is. We got some beans. Five beans. What do you got here? Five more beans. Okay. So we get two helpings of beans. That's exciting. Hattrick. Hattie and then Hattrick. Strangers. Strangers in my home, eh? Apparently she's Canadian. Sorry to barge in, but you have to get out of here. The whole area is being attacked and we're guessing you're next. Something evil is spreading over the land. Dear me, evil is afoot, you say? Well, I hope it likes beans. <laughs> I think we took an, a few of your beans, ma'am. Hope you're okay with that. Beans? Sure, and I'd hate to serve up an unpopular dish when evil comes a calling. Beans, right. Good idea. Well, I thank you kindly, strangers. Be seeing ya on your way now. Beans to make evil to feed, yep. Okay. Hmm. Gotta tend to my beans. Never know when evil comes a-calling. Best to meet you make on a full stomach. Beans. Okay, then. That's exciting stuff, man. I think that's all we can really do here. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. You should probably, like, fix up your place. You know? It's, it's falling apart, man. All right. What else we got going on in this place? Do, do, do. Can we talk to the bird? Apparently not. Animals don't talk in this game. What are you talking about? It, oh, there's Cecil. I guess it's Cecil Jr.'s father. God for Daniels! Where in the dickens did you come from? Nice to meet you, too. Ah, oh, sort of lost my manners there. Ain't seen many of them gadgeteer thingies in my life. Just bear with me here. Take all the time you need. Say, that thing be pretty handy around here. How much you want for it? Well, make me an offer. Pfft, stinger! Relax, I'm just kidding. Harv 5 isn't for sale. Suit yourself, honey. We're here to warn you. You've got to get out of here immediately. Yeah, it's not safe here. You're in grave danger. Look, I done paid my taxes. I vote during every election and attend church on Sundays. Ain't no one going to mess up my life. This has nothing to do with taxes or voting or religion. Well, I don't get it, then. Something, like a shadow, a dark wind. It wiped out Port Lockane, everything between here and the coast. Put down the pop, son. <laughs> Ain't no shadow I ever seen could do that. Ah, that was just a figure of speech. Trust us, there is something very wrong here. Your farm could be next. There will be death. Exactly. Godfrey Daniels, listen to that thing. Makes my skin crawl. Utterly amazing. Hmm. Well, if any shadowy critter comes sniffing around my house, I'll bury my axe in its head. If I were you, I'd think about leaving. We're going to hook up with the militia ourselves. Well, if this thing's as mean as you say, what good will fortress walls do me? Kind of got a point there, though. Thanks for the thought, but I'll be staying here to protect what's mine. It's up to you. Talk to my wife over there. We don't have much, but we can spare you some supplies. Thank you, Cecil. 
Don't mention it. Sure you won't sell that harvester? Yes, we're sure. I wouldn't feel good selling you something that's defective. This... This would be humor. I laugh. Uh, relax, Har Five. Come on, gang. Let's go. Alright. Good luck to you, then. Okay. So I guess this is his wife. Jedro. Howdy, kids. What can I do for you? Uh, well, we've got some bad news. Yeah? The bog weevil's back. Hate them dang things. It's worse than that. Our towns have all been attacked. We're going to get help from the militia. And if I were you, I'd pack up and come along with us. Well, ain't that just dandy. Fortunately, he ain't me. Never heard so much nonsense in my life. Sir, you don't understand. My hometown is in ruins. Something from hell crushed Port Lockhane. All of it. Houses, ships, everything. There has been death. Animals I've never seen roam the forest, attacking on sight. Like bull razors. They are vicious. They do not fear men. No, they don't. Well now, why would anyone want to go and blow up the whole darn world? How should we know? Look, mister. No, I think you're up to something. You just fun of me, ain't you? Some sort of dare. All you need to do is take one look at La Cane. You'll see what we mean. Or Enclon. Can't say I've ever left the farm. Wouldn't want to do that now, either. Got nowhere to go, anyway. But... Well, you've had your fun. Now run along. I've got chores to tend to. Well, okay. Looks like these people are dead set on staying here. Sir, please. That's Jedro, missy. Jedro, you've got to do something or everyone here is going to die. Missy, I've had just about enough of this. Get on out of here and take your friends with you, especially that there spittoon with eyeballs. <laughs> I love the writing of this game. I am a harvester, Mark V. Please make note of this. Oh, for Kirk's sake. It would be hardly... It would be hard to kill anyone this stupid. I heard that, you little gutter snipe. Now get! That was brainy. Now what are we gonna do? I don't know if there is anything to do. We warned him. He didn't believe us. That's that. Pretty much. I concur. I hope you two can sleep at night. I don't think I'll ever be able to sleep again. Sleep is for dreamers. Oh, come on, you two. <laughs> That's one way to put it, I suppose. I've had enough of your lip. Now scram. Okay, that's great. I think we can get something else in another one of these huts. Can we go into that one? Sometimes it's hard to tell where you can actually go. Because of the way the camera is. Who's this? Oh, there's Arlene. Well, hello. Good gods on high. What's your name? Goodness ain't nothing to do with it, honey. But as long as you're asking, I'm Marlene. Pleased to meet ya. Uh, Stinger. Yoo-hoo. Oh, yeah. This is Windleaf, and that's Har 5. Oh, you're that robot from Barley Grove, right? My, what a manly thing you are. I am a fully automated harvester robot. I am quite unlike any man you may know. I'll bet, sugar. And you, Winley, you must be from Enclon. What used to be Enclon? Oh, poor Winleaf. And you, I smell the sea in your clothes. You must be from Lockane. I do so love a sailor. Um, yeah, I used to be from there. Excuse me, honey. Port Lockane, it's been smashed. What could destroy an entire town? Something unnatural attacked. I can't describe it. Everything just fell apart. 
Encon was hit the same way. You've got to get out of here. Well, lucky for us, we're all just fine. You're in danger, miss. There will be death. <laughs> Eek! Stop it! That thing is scaring the dickens out of me. Oh, don't pay any attention to Har 5. He's about as subtle as a sledgehammer. <laughs> anyway, these parts aren't exactly safe anymore. We're gonna try and get help from the militia. How brave of you. I wish I could go with you, but I ain't allowed off the farm. Pa's pretty specific about that. You should try to talk to your father. Try and convince him. Well, I'll talk to the others, but we're pretty set in our ways around here. Yeah. For, 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 I can't talk. For your sake, I hope they listen. Well, ain't that sweet. You should probably talk to Pa and Cecil before you go. I already did. Well, I talked to Cecil, at least. We will. Good luck, Arlene. Thank you, honey. Take care now. We'll try to send someone back to check on you. Fine. So long as it's you, sugar. <laughs> right. Y'all yeah, come back real soon. I don't know if we ever come back, but you, you never know. What do we got over here? What do we got over here? Perfume. I think that's just a selling item, but I'm not sure. I'm assuming it is, yeah. Like I said before, if if it says nothing special, just sell it. That 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 that's all it's for. I mean, I don't think you can do anything else with it, so Ara. Hello. Hi, I'm Winleaf. This is Har 5, and that's Stinger. Ma, what strange names you have. So unusual and colorful. My name is Ara. Hi, Ara. Salutations. Huh? Ara, you're gonna have to get your family to leave this place. Something awful is happening. People are dying. Towns are being destroyed. Gracious me, you'd best speak to Pa about this. Again with Pa. Where is this Pa? Um, where's Pa? He's right outside. You can't miss him. Older fella, kind of cranky, big scab on his forehead. That'd be my Jedro, all right. Oh, oh, Jedro's pa. Well, we already talked to him. We've uh, already spoken with him, Ara. Charming fellow. Shh. He he importuned us to leave, madam. Shucks, I ain't no madam. Anyway, but I'll take care of us. If there's something wrong, don't you worry now. We'll be all right. Couple of peas in a pod. Well, thank you, Ara. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'll take care now. Say. Let me guess. You look like a mite worn out. Why don't you take some of these here? Mixed them myself. Oh. Another fear and solve. Thanks. Well, hello. Thought maybe you'd left already. Alright. What does Fear and Solve do again? Restore 50 HP. Okay. That, that's actually not bad. No, I don't want to drop. Yeah, I don't want to drop that. Okay. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. I think that's all we can do here. Kind of look like they had like a like, like a porch chair thing in my jigger. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so I think this hut here we can get something. Bum, bum, bum. Goat milk. Goat milk. I don't think we have any goat milk yet, do we? Stores three HP. That's great. I keep pushing the wrong button. I think we can read something in here, can't we? Vittle Fixer Mark 8, made with pride by Country Stoves Incorporated. C -c -c 
Kirillin. That's cool. What's this? Hmm. L looks like a book. Care to read it? Sure. Marlene Skinner's Cooking for Your Life. Oh, it's a cookbook. By Marlene Skinner. Jinx Press. All rights reserved. Chapter 1. Yoo-hoo, it's breakfast! You'll need three to four large taters. Fat for frying. Fry pan. Directions. Shred taters and fry in hot fat. Serve with salt and red sauce. See recipe below. Yeah, let's keep reading. Chapter 2. How do you handle a hungry man? Hungry man. You'll need three to four large taters. Cup of beans. Any variety. Fat for frying. Fry pan. Yeah, this place seems to be big on beans. Directions. Shred tater and fry in pan. Add beans when taters are tender. Cook a while longer. Serve with salt and red sauce. See recipe below. Well, that's exciting. Chapter 3. Dinner. <laughs> You'll need three to four large taters, cup of beans, any variety, frying fat and fry pan, flour, water, fat. Direction. Shred taters and fry in pan. Add beans when taters are tender. Cook a while longer. Marlene's Biscuits. Add flour, water, and fat. Mix until moistened. Do not overmix. Form into fist-sized balls. Place on baking tray. Cook for a spell until golden brown. Serve with salt and red sauce. Oh, I wonder what the red sauce tastes like. Maybe, maybe it's like pepper sauce or something. See recipe below. Red sauce. You'll need beets, suet. Melt suet. Add beets. Cook until tender. Strain into bowl. Serve warm. Looks like there's some real down-home eating that goes on around here. Thank God we're between meals. <laughs> Alright. That's all we can do here. But I think we can get something from... From you. If we talk to you again. Your husband said something about supplies. Stinger, that's rude. Go easy on the young fella. I overheard your talk with Cecil. Yes, well... Sounds like you kids are in a bit of a rush. That's alright, here you are. So we get fear and salve, green cod, and barley fizz. Thanks, ma'am. Sorry if I sounded rude. Aw, oh, don't fret. Thank you. You're welcome, dear, and take good care of your gizmo here. He'd be a pretty penny to replace. Goodbye. Okay. Travel safe. So I think that's all we can do here. We got some free stuff, and Fear and Tonic restores 100 HP. It's not bad. Green Cod and, and Barley Fizz. Green Cod restores 75. Barley Fizz restores 50, so... It's not too bad. Okay. So let's move on. That's all we can really do here. So now we want to head to the southeast, which is where Barley Grove is, which is where we actually need to go. Instead of all these optional places. But yeah, there's a lot you can do that's optional, which is pretty cool. I like that in games. You know what I mean? Skeleton! Boom! Freaking skeleton, get out of here. What are you doing? Boom. 99 gold, not too shabby. Dun, dun, dun. Down to Barley Grove. There it is. We'll get into one more battle, because why not? Bum, bum, bum. Rutabaga 2. What the hell is that? I don't even think I want to know what that was. <laughs> Barley Grove. 